after a full 24 hours of play. Oh yeah, of course. Quite generous, but then word about this spread follows. Then to Reddit, and a post got 12,500 uploads informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund, and the comments told them exactly how to do it. The first was flooded with requests for refunds. And their response? This is so ridiculous. Shut it down, lads. No, no, no one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. Robot customer service man engage. Wow. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. Die. A few things followed. First, you are mad. One hardcore gamer you can track the game stop for a few Yeah, dude! Woo! Fuck him, dude! A bit of an overreaction. No, what? No, not at all. It's completely normal. Wow! And third, a class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent refund policy. Imagine having a game so bad you get sued. May not be strictly legal. November 26, 2018, with last year's record LLP filed class action customers. Media quickly picked up on that. Their main argument is that it's a sometimes unplayable game owing to its technical problems, then they're refusing refunds, and that Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway, and then slowly patch their way into a more playable state.